Hi guys and welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So today's reading is for the zodiac sign of Pisces and Pisces this is your February 2015 general monthly reading. Okay so Pisces your reading um I get the feeling that this is about a shortage of something and maybe getting some advice maybe there's some form of uh feeling a little bit fearful around a situation whereby you're thinking to yourself how am I going to do this how am I going to make this you know how am I going to how am I going to kind of make this work this month or in February I, I just get that feeling because the first two cards we have are the king of cups and the page of pentacles the king of cups uh, traditionally he is a very very caring type of guy um he's in terms of how he treats other people, um, he treats them very, very well. He'd make excellent, um, excellent husband material. He's really kind of um, empathetic, he's sympathetic. You know, he's been through the wars himself, so it's brought him, I suppose, to a point where he knows how to treat people because he knows how he wanted to be treated and potentially how he has been treated in life, which has sort of brought him to this stage where he can really sort of... Um, be just like this really caring, um, loving dude, you know? And so he's just like, he's the type of person in the modern day you'd find he's an advisor or a counsellor. He'd be, you know, a, a social worker, something like that. He'd be potentially within the, the sort of, um, you know, like a, a mentor or maybe a youth worker or something like that. He'd be in like a caring um, profession. He'd be in a profession where he was in a, a, a position to help someone, okay? But he'd be, you know, I suppose he could really be in any sort of position, I suppose. That's just the traditional sort of work uh, related thing that he'd be in. But I think he could be literally be anyone as long as he's kind of caring and empathetic. That would be a King of Cups. And I think that along with the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles is often a card about kind of start the starting up of a new venture, something that's kind of like something that you have to put a lot of effort into, you know, in order to get it kind of started, in order to get the ball rolling. It does take work and it does take effort. When I look at, but this is, the Page of Pentacles is also a card about shortage and potentially a lack of cash flow, because obviously when you're starting something new out, it does, for a lot of entrepreneurs, okay, including myself, someone who has tried to start up or started up multiple little things, it does take cash flow and it does, you know, sometimes the money just simply isn't there at the beginning and you have to find ways and means to make that money in order to keep the business, you know, going. But I think with these two cards, potentially for some of you Parsians, it could be a case of that for February or even going on from now, there is a shortage of something somewhere. There is kind of a... Um, maybe a lack of sort of financial reserves for some of you guys. We don't have any five of pentacles here, but I'm looking at these other surrounding cards and it's sort of telling me some form of a story. So as I say, it's a general reading, so it can just relate to any area of your life. But hypothetically, I'm looking at these cards and I'm thinking to myself, this is what it potentially could be for some of you guys. But please feel free to apply the reading to any part of your life, which is what a general reading does. So as I was saying, I feel for some of you guys going on from now potentially into February, we're looking at maybe a shortage of something here and maybe asking for help, getting advice on that situation in terms of your finances or whatever the situation is that you're feeling a sense of um, a sense of uncertainty about. Because uncertainty can also be attributed in a way, I suppose, with the Page of Pentacles. Whenever you're starting something out, something new, especially when it comes in terms of like trying to get some money to regain from it, then there is an air of uncertainty, especially if you're having to kind of push something along. And I think for some of you guys with the Page of Pentacles card, you will have your rewards come in because really this is a card about kind of being in it for the long haul. Okay, starting something out and being in it for a long haul because you will have financial reward. But I think what this is, is there is a shortage at the minute potentially for some of you guys and you're getting some help here. But there, it won't be long before that shortage is revoked and, you know, things are back on an even kill for you. So I think that this King of Cups will potentially represent... I'm not going to start saying what sign. I mean, we all know that the Cups, the cups suit is a water sign. It represents Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Ah, so Pisces, yeah. I mean, this could be you, I guess, maybe giving advice to someone, okay? Of course, King of Cups is a Piscean as well, so maybe this is you guys, this is you here, 
okay if it's not a case of there's a shortage of something then maybe this is you with someone maybe this is you with your child or maybe this is you with a younger lover who knows but to me this card is saying there's a potential shortage going on and potentially you're asking for help or you're getting help or maybe you're going in for your own reserves you know maybe you're actually looking inward and you're able to handle the situation quite stable maybe you're keeping your cool head maybe you're keeping your head in a crisis you know which is what the king of cups is renowned for he's renowned for kind of keeping cool you know he's a cool kind of guy he's he's renowned for kind of keeping his head when everything else is a little bit chaotic around him he's emotionally stable so maybe you guys if this isn't someone giving you advice maybe you're providing your own counsel maybe you are providing you know you're inwardly you're being very stable emotionally stable around a situation where there is potentially something that's slow or taking its time to get going or potentially you know there's some shortage or lack of funds going on there we do have here even though it seems that within february some of you guys are keeping your head in this crisis or you're getting some form of advice i'm not saying it's a crisis but you're keeping your head in a in a situation where there's potentially some lack or something's taking time to get going you're still feeling a little bit trapped about it a little bit kind of fearful around it kind of like you're still feeling a little bit like how do i get myself out of this or how do i you know it could be self-imposed this fear you know you've got yourself in a little bit a little bit worked up about something and you could sort of just step out of the gate but you're kind of blindfolded to what's in front of you but then it won't last long i don't believe pisces because we do have the sun card along with this and where the sun card is everything's going to be fine because it really does just shine its rays and it's such a such a positive positive card one of the most positive cards within the tarot that you can't you know, to me, this says when we've got the sun next to the eight of swords that this imposed self, this imposed kind of imprisonment, um, fear. And I, I would even say that the eight of swords, you know, is like a card about delusion. You know, it's like deluding yourself that you're kind of, you know, it's like working yourself up and saying I'm more in trouble than I think than, you know, I'm, I, I feel that I'm in a lot of trouble with something or I feel that I'm kind of like, um. Um, you know it's thinking that you're more trapped than you actually are so it's to me it's a card of sort of illusion delusion um you know making more of a situation potentially for you know than that there actually is because we do have the sun card as well as i've said next to it and this would say to me you know you don't really have anything to worry about and i'll tell you why because i feel that within february we have the next two cards the hangman and the uh, page of wands and the hangman is really a card about you know you look at this guy here this dude he's so happy where he's looking at him he's kind of just chilling out upside down he's not worrying about the blood rushing to his head he's not worrying about anything he's just kind of relaxed where he is you know he's like hey dude i'm fine you know i'm having a good time looking upside down and it's almost like there's a, a sun behind him as well upside down behind his head so he's cool and this is about sort of letting go, you know, releasing, um, releasing that feeling of being kind of uncomfortable, of kind of being restricted because you're restricted here. And the sun again is telling you, you've got to release that. There's no need for it. You're deluding yourself. You're, 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 you're elu you know, it's, it's an illusion. You're not actually bound in anything. You can get out of it. And, it, you know, the, the, the hope is coming. The the luck is coming the the sun is also a, a card about hope and about success and about things turning for the better you know it's very much in the same sort of vibe as the wheel of fortune except the wheel of fortune is about things that are fated you know things that are unexpectedly come in but the sun is really there to kind of give us that added confirmation that things are going to be absolutely fine you know so the, the hanged man is saying you know release it you're going to be releasing, I believe, for some of you Pisceans, this kind of self-imposed fear, this self-imposed sort of delusion about something, about being kind of bound in something. And I think when you release that to the universe and when you finally kind of break those shackles off, guys, I believe that this is where we get the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is really a card about um, having new messages, good news come in. And usually because it's a wand suit, it can be related to sort of work, you know, your career. So I think that if this is a money situation for some of you guys, you're going to be having some news in February related to work issues coming in. OK, so it's got, you know, it's things like telephone calls, emails, letters, that type of thing. So it could be that you get an offer for some, from something, you know, during, you know, an offer to come for an interview or something like that during February. Who knows? But I believe that you'll be having some sort of news come in, you know, that is going to kind of 
just reaffirm this new way that you're potentially you're going to be thinking you're going to get your you know your act together you're going to sort of say you know actually yeah i'm a little bit worried i'm start I'm, I'm trying to feel strong through this i'm trying to feel emotionally stable through this i am still a little bit worried but the sun is saying you don't have anything to worry about because everything's going to turn out fine the hanged man is about letting go of feeling um uncomfortable feeling kind of like you're restricted because this guy isn't restricted here it's also um you know accepting your limitations so not expecting too much of yourself you know so if there is a situation potentially with money going on for some of you guys then you know don't beat yourself up over it as long as you're doing what you can do that's enough you know that's enough as long as you're doing what you can do to release yourself from whatever this restriction is that you believe that you're in then you're going to be absolutely fine okay and i believe that the page of wands will give some added relief to that for some of you guys and the final cards that we have here for February are the Page of Cups and the uh, Six of Wands. Brilliant, brilliant cards. The Page of Cups is very much... Um, I mean, the pages are all kind of messengers. They can be messengers, they can be young kids, so they could be your children. They can be, you know, a younger lovers coming in. You know, uh, the Page of Wands would perhaps signify someone who was, you know, kind of like very charismatic coming in. Someone who would be helping you out with something. But that's not the route I'm going down. It could be someone like that, but I'm not going down that route. If it is someone in your life like that who already is coming in, you can drop me a line and let me know. But I think that with the Page of Cups, um, because we have the Victory card next to it, I think that emotionally you're going to be feeling really good about this news that's coming in. It's going to give you this kind of renewed sense of vigour in you. You know, you're going to be feeling emotionally really kind of like... Like it's going to be the birth of a new feeling within you. Emotionally, you're going to be feeling awake again. You're going to be feeling really good. And I think that's why we have the Page of Cups here. You know, this again talks about messages of a very um, good nature coming in. Whilst the Page of Wands talks about messages pertaining to your career, your work, the Page of Cups talks about messages coming in of an emotional, um, an emotional nature. So usually this would infer perhaps somebody that you fancied asking you out or, you know, a younger lover coming in and all that. But we're not, I'm not going down this route with this reading. It could be, but I'm not taking that route. What I'm saying is I think that emotionally you're going to be feeling really good about these messages that are coming in, potentially, for some of you guys. And then the final card that we have, guys, is the Six of Wands. And this is the Victory card. So I imagine that potentially for some of you Pisceans in February, by the end of February, you're going to be feeling really, really good. You're going to be feeling like, oh, Thank the Lord, you know, because potentially I think that if this is a work situation, if there is work offered to you, I believe that some of you potentially are going to be successful in securing that work, which is going to help you out of a situation, you know. Because the Six of Wands is a victory card, but it also can be about, you know, being victorious in a, perhaps obtaining a new job, a promotion, moving up the career uh, ladder so if you're victorious in anything that you've set out for achieving a goal so it's from, to my mind this reading is saying with the page of wands that you're being offered something potentially so there's letters there's news of jobs coming in and it's making you feeling really good potentially okay so there's good news coming in with the page of wands in the form of kind of you know receiving maybe an email letters telephone calls that type of thing and it's something that you're going to be feeling really good about and I think that if it is a job situation, I think potentially some of you guys might be starting something new in February. If at the moment money's a bit tight and you might be out of something or out of a job or whatever. And then the Six of Wands. This is the culmination. This is victorious. You're feeling quite happy about your situation. You're feeling really proud that you've overcome whatever obstacles started in the beginning of the month. And at the end of, by the end of the month, you're going to be feeling really good about overcoming those obstacles and really getting to where you need to be in order to sort through any anything that needed clearing out. So, Pisces, that is an absolutely fantastic reading. Love doing that reading. Please let me know how you get on. If this resonates with you, I always love to read your comments. So please make sure that you send the comments. You know, you make a comment to... Uh, uh, below that would be fantastic love reading them and i'd like to say thank you so much for joining me on this reading and i will see you on your next reading which would be your march 2015 general reading thanks for your time guys take care